Seven years ago, this blue-eyed man introduced himself to me at church. Fast forward to today, we're now married, adopted two dogs, and running this business together. Somewhere in between all of this, he started what I call his passion project, where he created multiple Facebook groups where RVers can share their problems, repairs, fixes, and upgrades. You've seen our series, What's in the Shop. Now we're sharing what's in the group. This is where we pull from the many posts and direct messages from YOU, and I let Dustin do what he does best, and that's help. Okay. So on this, what's in the group posting, this is from your Forest River group. Okay. And Harry says, I have a 2018 Flagstaff Superlight that has over the summer developed a bubble on the outer skin beside a window on the dining slide out. How can it be repaired and what can be done to minimize it? It's about the size of a softball and hasn't gotten any bigger, but I see it every time I walk Bye. Oh, shoot. Well, Harry, I'm sorry, but unfortunately that's due to water damage. So that window would need to be removed. There's probably, it's not making contact or there's not sealant behind the window and it's allowed water to run down the edge of the window and bleed into the wall itself. You're never really going to get rid of that. Um, some people will try to like heat it up mm -hmm. well you're heating up a surface that's called phylon that's as thin as a credit card that's glued to a piece of wood which is called luon which is about you know it's less than a quarter inch thick or an eighth inch thick somewhere between that measurement and then that's compressed and vacuum bonded to a piece of inch and a quarter inch and a half styrofoam so any glues you put back in there unless they're a water-based glue they're gonna melt the styrofoam they're never going to get that that baseball wrinkle out. wrinkle out it's never going to the only way you would get that out is you would have to remove the window cut the body dig all the styrofoam out block it with like wood blocking mm -hmm. the same thickness of the styrofoam cut a new piece of wood and glue to it mm -hmm. and cut a new piece of file on and put it on there and then paint you know fiberglass it paint that whole area mm -hmm. okay. so you're always going to have that now people look at the windows and they think hey you know, that's just one window. So this could continue to happen to several of your windows. It could happen to that outside speaker that's above it. It can happen at the roof line, at the rail. It can happen anywhere on the coach at any time. You know, some of it could be from just expansion, hot and cold, where walls are moving and separating. Um, the window could have been loose in that area. But we look at the windows and this is a frameless window. When you open up that glass, you're gonna see maybe the thickness of like my thumbprint. And you think, oh, wow, I got like a half inch of product or sealant or bulb seal that's making contact with that wall. That's not the case. If you pull that window out, you maybe only have like a quarter mm -hmm. inch or three eighths of an inch that's actually compressed against that wall. Mm -hmm. And that's what's allowing the water to get back through it. Mm -hmm. So not a big fan of those frameless windows. If they're not... Even if it wasn't frameless, it would still Even if it's not frameless, it would still it happen. Okay. Yeah. So it, it was either wasn't sealed correctly wasn't tightened correctly um something allowed the water to get in there okay you know it's this, not it's not just like a glue like oh it, it was a delamination issue and it just popped up on its mm -hmm. own water got it's in a there, maintenance reactivated issue reactivated the water or, or reactivated the glue and caused it to gas up and let that spot out okay it reminds me of the other um delamination video, video. that you zach did yeah. which i'll link i'll link above in the corner um if he doesn't want to do work, cut it out, styrofoam, paint, and all that, the best, the next best you thing just is just to seal it and seal live it with and the bubble. Live with the bubble. Yeah. Okay. Because if you take that out, Mary, if you cut that out, you take a risk of the square that you cut out can crack at any time. It's always going to be painted nice and shiny there where the rest of the coach is going to fade around it. Mm -hmm. And then. You know, you're going to have to get decals. I don't remember what year it was, but um, you're going to have to get decals for it. A bunch of different Pretty things. sure it was a 18. An 18, 18 yeah. So, wow. so, you know, five years old, the decals may not be available. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, it's a real, you know, recommend that everybody that's watching this video 
inspect your bodies you know break out the microscope the magnifying glass really look at it pretend that it's like a cuticle on a fingernail and push it and see if it lifts loose and if it does trim it off and put some new sealing on it mm -hmm. all right thank you yeah. have you joined one of our groups well what are you waiting for the link in the YouTube description box below will take you to a landing page that highlights all of our groups. Come on and join us online, whether it's a general group or one tailored to your Arby's manufacturer. There's something for everyone.